The search is on right now for the person who gunned down somebody on Saturday night who left his community in the morning. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office has new evidence tonight in the murder that took place in suburban Book Raton. News Channel 5 South Palm Beach County reporter Charlie Keegan has the details and a message from his family. The Sheriff's Office tells me leads have been coming in all day long. Christo's family says being vengeful is not the answer. They want the people who care about Christo, who created this memorial, to follow his lead. Laughing, joking around. Christo Macias' mother never imagined this would be the last picture the family took together. He just seemed to fit, kind of complete it on some level. Now pictures of the 25-year-old man line the fence outside West Boca Raton High School. A memorial brought to life Sunday after someone shot and killed Macias Saturday morning. This is an awful, awful thing. I can't even imagine who would have hate against Christo because we all love him so much. The sheriff's office shared these pictures of a person of interest they'd like to question. Nassius' family doesn't recognize the man, but has a message to anyone who does. In Christo's memory, stop fighting, you know? Do something good for somebody instead. Massius lived with the Rubens, but his fun-loving attitude earned him friends all over West Boca. His disposition is smile or infectious, and people like being around it. The community is hurting, and only wants one thing from the person causing them so much pain. Should turn he, himself in. He should turn himself in. He destroyed a young man's life that didn't. And everybody else's life that's attached to Crystal. In West Boca Raton, Charlie Keegan, WPTV News Channel 5.